Communist rioters in Tokyo turn May Day into a nightmare as fanatical speakers whip 400,000 workers and students into hysteria with anti-American speeches. A Pathé News sound camera unit is in the midst of the wild disorder to film some of the most sensational riots ever seen. Excited crowds carry signs praising Stalin and Chinese and Korean red leaders. The mob moves off towards Hirohito's imperial palace in defiance of a police order. They're chanting anti-US and anti-government slogans incited by well-trained communist leaders. A police cordon of 3,000 men sends a flying wedge to break the riot and a pitched battle follows. Tear gas shells are fired at the rioters who fight with sticks, stones and bamboo spears. Among nearly 500 injured is our cameraman and one of his assistants. A serious battle rages round this newsreel truck. The rioting is inspired by red hatred for America and everything American. Many cars are overturned and set ablaze. American buildings are stoned. Many Americans were seized, mauled and beaten up by bands that rove the streets. The Pathé news truck races into the midst of the battle. At least one man is killed during this day of violence. 164 demonstrators, including some thought to be communist ringleaders, are jailed by Japanese police. These riots occurred four days after Japan regained her independence. Some observers see an unpromising start. But after five hours of street warfare, order is slowly restored. Japanese authorities say that these demonstrations do not reflect national sentiment. 